turns out that planet is the most common type of planet in the universe, as far as we can tell. And we don't have one. The, you know, we had this picture before we started finding exoplanets that everything would just be like the solar system. But then as soon as we started finding exoplanets, I mean, one of the first type of exoplanets we found was these hot Jupiters. And when those were first announced, nobody believed them. People were like, you can't, you can't get a Jupiter there. And the proof of the pudding was when one of them eclipsed its star. So one of them actually passed right in front of the star, oh. right at the moment it was supposed to, and we saw an eclipse. And when that happened, everyone was like, all right, this is, this is real. Um, another example is mini Neptunes. You ever heard of those planets? No. So mini Neptunes are these planets which are in between the size of the Earth and Neptune. Neptune's about four times bigger than the Earth. We don't have anything like that in the solar system. So we don't know what it is. And turns out that planet is the most common type of planet in the universe, as far as we can tell. And we don't have one. Wow. So that's kind of weird, right? I mean, it seems like there's so many aspects of our solar system that are unusual. Even having a Jupiter, only 10% of stars have a Jupiter, as far as we can tell.